So let's say I wanted to put my logo on this image as a watermark. I could bring the image in from a saved file and place it in here, but there's another really fast way of saving my logo for watermarking across lots of images if I just save it as a brush preset. So let's go over to my logo. So I've already changed my logo to black. That's the first step you want to do. I did that with image adjust threshold and just drag the slider till it was black. Now I go up to file or I mean edit define brush preset. We're going to call it Sarah design logo. Hit okay. Now we're going to go over to our photo. We're going to open up the layers and create a new layer. This is where our uh, watermark is going to go. I'm going to grab the brush tool, which is right here. And it already has the last brush, which I created, which is my logo. But if you wanted to find that brush, you open up your brushes palette, which I have over here. And then you just, you would just scroll to the bottom of the list where uh, <clears throat> the last brush that you saved is. And there it is. When I click, it's going to kind of stamp it onto this layer and it's going to use the foreground color. So since my foreground is white, it's going to stamp it as white. Now it looks a little bit big. Before I stamp it, I'm going to make it smaller by using the left bracket key on my keyboard. Just click that a few times to size it down. And then I'm just going to click and there it is on my picture. Easy peasy. And then I could also just sort of tune down the opacity here by sliding the opacity layer. So it's not so standing out so much. And there is my watermarked image.